in 1996 during the Kojic uh, uh, elections. Uh, Bishop G.E. Patterson came in as one of the highest vote getters and he decided to make himself available for the office of presiding bishop. The current presiding bishop at that time was the Bishop Chandler David Owens. And I remember that day, and I can report on that day, some things that some may have never known had happened. While Bishop Patterson was uh, known around the world. He was a rising name in Christendom and in Pentecostalism at that time, not for the work that he had done previously, which was laudable enough, but he was on the rise. You know, all of a sudden the magazines come looking for him. You had Ebony looking for him. You had uh, a Gospel Today looking for him. You had Charisma. All of a sudden, the buzz was around him. And with all of that trapping in, he's on BET every Sunday. And then, you know, every little circuit in the 90s has started. So he's getting bigger and bigger and bigger preaching dates. But on the day of that election, the election was held, and he lost by one vote. One vote. Uh, the thing that you all don't know is the walk outside of the convention center, the walk back to the hotel, the walk out of the place. People were on both sides while we left. And on one side there was jeering, and on the other side there was uh, people saying, well, Bishop, if you start moving with tomorrow, just let us know we coming. But what I noticed from him as great as a man he's, as he was, he small, walked ahead with a small contingent. Uh, I absolutely know that uh, his secretary, Otania Estridge, at that time, walked with us. Of course, Lady Patterson. And Lady Patterson, I don't know whether she had... Uh, any of a contingent of young ladies that may have been with her. I don't know if Sister Miller Brown or Sister Hubbard or at that time uh, another sister, Sister Charlotte Walker, were walking with us. Maybe there is a chance that Rhonda Parks was walking with us, of course Kay. Uh, and we're walking outside from inside of the convention center as great a man as he was and used to large crowds, we walked in a very small contingent. The men were there in 96. I was still Minister Stephen Smith. There was Minister Antonio Miguel Buckley. There was Elder Barry Garner. And I don't know whether Daryl Miles had been ordained at that time or not, but Elder or Minister Daryl Miles. Uh, Skip Garner, maybe Donald Wing Sr. was with us on that walk. And at the time, the superintendent, Jerry Maynard. We walked out in a small contingent while everybody else was embracing the new leader, Bishop Patterson. Undoubtedly, when you lose something like that by one vote, your emotions are all over the place. He didn't contest things because it would have put the church in a bad light after a very contentious election. So he was hurting. He was bleeding. And we walked in silence. No one was talking. He was leading the path, and he just kept on walking. He walked past the hurt. He walked past the disappointment. He walked past the feelings of being let down. He walked past people who said they were in his corner and yet they're, they're gone. They didn't follow him. They, uh, he went through a myriad of emotions while we walked and I just remember we walked in silence. There will come seasons in your life where you just got to keep on walking. Disappointments may hit. 
pain may thrive. Uh, allegiances can be broken, but he kept right on walking. And, and that's my word to you today. Sometimes you just got to keep walking somewhere in the steps ahead. God's going to take care of your pain, your disappointment, all the things. You know, he was walking away from a loss where people were celebrating him on the way in. But we're making a lonely walk with a small contingent and everybody's quiet moving ahead. I, I, I don't know whether the... Elder Norris Kirk Gray was there. I would imagine he would be. The um, Elder Gregory Askew, of course, the pastoral assistant Gregory Askew, Askew at that time. I wouldn't know whether he was there. I would think he would be, but maybe he was back at the church holding down the fort in Bishop Patterson's uh, absence because Temple Deliverance at that time probably had wow uh, well I do know that their employees were <laughs> they had a great contingent of employees at that time so it was a massive ship but with all of that we walked in silence so sometimes even at your point of a hurting loss the roads ahead are going to be a quiet walk and you just trust God for the road ahead I'm telling you today that God's not as much in your past as he is in your future. So my word to you, even though you're going through the various trials of life, just keep light on walking. God's got something great for you in the road ahead, but you got to keep right on walking. And in the steps ahead, there's a promise from God. God's promise that he'd never leave you nor forsake you. So just keep right on walking. Be blessed.